Today we're going to learn the relationship between the derivative, which we call as a new function that returns the instantaneous rate of change, and the slope of the tangent line to the graph of the function f. So we previously saw a few things. So we saw that the average rate of change of f over some interval, let's say from um, uh, a to b, was equal to f of b minus f of a over b minus a. Then we also saw that the instantaneous rate of change of f at a is basically found by computing the average rate of change over a sequence of successively smaller intervals. So we basically compute the average rate of change over a sequence of smaller and smaller intervals. And then we said that the derivative of f, which we call f prime of x, uh, returns the instantaneous rate of change at any point. So next, or right now, we're going to compute or understand the derivative in relationship to the tangent line. So for this, we want to draw our generic graph. There's x, and there's f of x. So maybe we're at some point right here, and this is the value a. Now, when we compute the average rate of change, we can start off by saying, well, let's go down here and say, what's the average rate of change between a and b1? Well, the average rate of change between a and b1 will be the slope of that line. Right, because it's the change in y divided by the change in x. This is literally delta y over delta x. Okay, well, let's try a b1 that's a little bit, or b value that's a little bit closer, maybe b2. So now let's compute the average rate of change between a and b2. Now we have a point up here, and the average rate of change is going to be the slope of that line. So this is the average rate of change, or the slope of this line, so the slope equals the average rate of change of f on the interval from a to b2, whereas the slope of this line is equal to the average rate of change for the interval a to b1. Okay. Now the tangent line is going to be the line that passes through the point and it just touches the curve tangentially. So it just touches the curve like that. So that's the tangent line to the curve at x is equal to a. So it's a line that just well, touches the curve like that. So it's tangentially. And the whole idea of this is that if you zoom in on the point, very, very close, the, the curve and the tangent line will become indistinguishable unless you're wearing your spectacles. So if you zoom in close enough, it's always very, very difficult to tell the difference between the curve and the tangent line. So if you zoom in to the point where um, the curve looks like a straight line, if you zoom in that close, the curve could have lots and lots of curves in it, but if you zoom in close enough, if it's a smooth function, it will look like a straight line if you zoom in and look closely enough. Now, if you just take that straight line, what looks like a straight line, and pretend like it is a straight line and just continue it indefinitely, that's the tangent line. So that's all the tangent line is. So now let's go back to our story about the average rate of change and the instantaneous rate of change. So we know that the instantaneous rate of change, we want to keep computing the average rate of change over smaller and smaller and smaller intervals. Well, still, you know, we can see that we have kind of a big interval from A to B2. So let's do a smaller interval and let's choose a point like this, B3. Now, when we compute the average rate of change between A and B3, we get the slope of that line. We can do it again, b4. So the, the average rate of change between a and b4 is the slope of this line. And as we keep decreasing the size of the interval, these 
secant lines get closer and closer and closer and closer to the tangent line to the curve. So we see that um, as this process levels out, the average rate of change will level off at the slope or to the slope of the tangent line to the curve at the point x is equal to a. So our conclusion, we call it a fact, f prime of a uh, gives the slope of the tangent line to f of x at the point x is equal to a. Right? So we can call that, you know, I'll just call it a fact. Theorem, proposition, whatever. And it has a, a corollary. Since the value of the derivative f prime of a represents the instantaneous rate of change of f of x at the point x is equal to a, that means that the instantaneous rate of change of a function can be understood graphically as simply the slope of the tangent line. So corollary, the instantaneous rate of change of f at x at a, at x is equal to a, is equal to the slope of the tangent line, just like that. And that is the relationship between the derivative and the tangent line to the curve.